Mizzou baseball is officially searching for a new head coach. Welcome to Sports Zone, everyone. I am ABC 17 Sports Director Natalie Jones. MU Athletics announced earlier today that Steve Beezer will not be returning as the head coach after seven seasons at the helm of Tiger Baseball. Now, in that time, Beezer and company had their fair share of ups and downs. This year was actually the first time that Mizzou has qualified for an SEC tournament since back in 2019, but still, no NCAA tournament appearances since before Beezer's time in Columbia. A new coach, obviously, at the top of the list for athletics director Desiree Reed Francois, but also taking a look at the facilities surrounding that coach. Steve Beezer came on as just the fourth baseball coach Mizzou had hired in 79 years. Very humbled to be standing before you as the head baseball coach at the University of Missouri. MU had some tradition when it came to Tiger baseball, but the program was also still sitting on just the doorstep of the SEC. I'm not intimidated by the SEC, uh, and, and our players will never be intimidated by the SEC. Becoming competitive in the best baseball conference in the land was priority number one. In his time in Columbia, though, Beezer went 67, 112 and one in SEC play with no NCAA tournament appearances. We can't afford to lose any more games. I mean, because we're not we're not talking about just trying to be a 500 club or trying to be respectable with with 35 wins and stuff like that. We're talking about we want to play in the postseason. The first few years of the Missouri Natives tenure got off to a solid start. Beezer and company qualified for the conference tournament in his first three years. But after the canceled COVID-19 season, postseason play was harder to come by. 2023 was actually the first time Mizzou has made the SEC tournament since 2019. The message to our team is that, that we're right there. We can compete. I sat down with Columbia Tribune sports editor Chris Kwasinski after today's news came out. He says the news wasn't necessarily a surprise. I guess it was the waiting game. I, I think we kind of categorized this in the same as, as Robin and how that kind of played out a little bit, where we were waiting and waiting to see if she would get another year, and she did. And I, there were a little bit more convincing arguments for Steve when you kind of look at, you know, the really what this program puts into baseball. Facilities have been a big concern for the baseball program and to fans over the past few years. I feel like one big topic of conversation we're seeing all over social media is, you know, the support that Mizzou baseball needs when it comes to facilities as compared to the rest of the SEC. You know, what's your, your assessment of that? Do you think that's another thing that needs to be on the top of the list besides just a head coach? The one thing that stands out to me is uh, I was looking at salaries and not only is was Steve the lowest paid coach in the SEC, but when you look at Tim Corbin of Vanderbilt, he makes two point four million dollars a year. Mizzou, Mizzou's total operated expenses for baseball was two point five million. You know, basically he one coach in the SEC made the same that Mizzou spent in an entire year. In a press release today, athletics director Desiree Reed Francois said, quote, we understand the vital role baseball plays and we are committed to further increasing our investment in the program and look forward to our future success. I think you can look at any SEC facility and um, and you can say that it's, it's better, might be better than what Mizzou has currently. And that's not a knock on, you know, what what's what Mizzou has kind of had in place. I think it's more so a knock on uh, the rest of the SEC is up. In his final parting words, Beezer didn't put it on the facilities or the support the team got. He put it plain and simple. They just didn't win enough games. Well, Beezer is now the fourth coach that Desiree Reed Francois has hired, has fired, excuse me, since she started at MU. She'll be in competition with a couple other SEC schools, though, as both Georgia and Alabama are looking for new baseball coaches as well. She does say the national coaching search has already begun.